No, I didn't. <laughs> when asked which animal Caroline likened herself to, the unexpected answer was a giraffe. As she herself explained, she's tall and sticks out like a sore thumb, but doesn't have much relevance. Her <laughs> oh. first boyfriend, I'm here is Barry, was a suspiciously named Phil. A 16-year-old she met when she was 12. <laughs> they met at Chessington World Adventures. He was inside the cage looking out. <laughs> On Caroline's 13th birthday, Phil bought her a necklace. And the next week, she dumped him, having taken all his money, self-respect, and his bracelet. This leads to a period in Caroline's life well referred to as the drunken blur. <laughs> Apparently, she's had so many drunken nights, she can't remember them all. But one occasion she can remember involves her friend Michelle snogging a bloke in a purple velvet jacket who was shorter than she was. <laughs> the story seems to stop there, as most of Caroline's memories of this period do. <coughs> Not surprising, then, that her favourite drink is a vodka and lemonade. Seven doubles, and she's completely blotto. Moving on to jobs, Caroline's first attempt at holding down employment was at a local TV repair shop. She spent a happy six months there, slamming doors and changing her clothes, until the owner realised that he was employing just the one girl and not the 15 that he thought. Since then, Caroline has had almost as many jobs as she's had boyfriends. When asked about the latter, she remained tight lipped. I suspect it's simply that she can't remember due to the copious quantities of vodka and lemonade. <laughs> However, on the jobs front, Caroline has briefly graced the premises of A&M, Habitat, J.H. Lorimer's, W.H. Smith's, Steps Shoes, March Marketing, Tri Technology, CCS, and there's a scribbled note here in red crayon which sells, says simply, rip off bastards, <laughs> and currently, Conquest. Not bad for someone who's only 24. <laughs> But now, you must raise your glasses of whatever you have left, in Caroline's case, top up with more vodka, and say, well done, and good luck to Caroline and Barry. If you keep a very close eye on her today, you may well see her outfit change, but hopefully without slamming doors. <laughs> in the words of a certain science fiction hero, may you live long and prosper. And never forget that life is what you make it, so why not make it fun? Caroline and Barry. <laughs> Supposed to be this is the gentleman's best one. Um, first of all, thank you for a really good listen. Excellent. Really, really good. But I would just like to say that half the bridesmaids, I think, they all look absolutely lovely. Well done, because that's basically you got ready. And she was on time. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a bonus. Eh? I'm really impressed. So well done. Thank you. So, good afternoon, I'm sure you'll all agree, it's been a crappy weather so far. And with every silver lining, there's a cloud. Unfortunately, that's going to be a good It's going to be a short speech, and I, I emphasise the, the short speech on that, so I'm not going to bore you with two. That's one out of the way. <laughs> so, to the point very quickly where I slander <laughs> this young gentleman's character to no end. I didn't really know Barry when he was at school, apart from the, the occasional game of football here and there. He always used to quite my legs in front of me. But what I can, the only thing I can rely on is what Barry's actually told me about it. And these are his words, and I quote, Academically brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> An outstanding sportsman. <laughs> And well liked by teachers and pupils alike. <laughs> but Angela, I'm sure you'll agree with me on this one. But there's a much darker past behind it. And there are recent revelations. That's two. <laughs> Craft, design, and technology. Here we go. These are from all your reports. <laughs> Never any. Not, not the boring one of can do better. Believe me, there's some beats in here. Although very keen, Barry has a distinct problem 
differentiating between inches <laughs> and millimeters. <laughs> <laughs> Religious education, moving on. Barry's understanding of religion is limited. <laughs> In our prime, let me just guess an in our prime. Which after a Friday, which after a Friday night, out with the boys down in the, in the Washington village, after eight or nine beers, we had our best games. Believe me, eight or nine beers, we were super. But we struck up an absolute, absolutely formidable partnership. What with Hepworth's great determination, passion, and midfield presence, <laughs> and the Smiths. Silky smooth skills <laughs> and quality finishing within the box. We were, we were a formidable partnership. That's a bit serious. This one. Which box is that then? <laughs> <laughs> <stupid mind>. <laughs> <laughs> about Barry's silky smooth skills, which was couldn't hit and barn door. I think you'll, there's certainly the lads who are in here right now will agree. And they couldn't get barn door. Let's hope, let's hope Dan's off to a better start. He certainly hasn't got two left feet, so he's one ahead, he's one ahead of his father already. Okay. Speaking about football, I had a, um, a telegram come through from a local football team who Barry's been playing for now and again. Dear Barry and Caroline, congratulations on this special day. We are sure you are looking forward to your first night together as man and wife. So the special message comes to you. Well, thank you, Sheila, first of all, anyway. Thank you very much for coming here. That was like a fantastic, excellent speech, mate. Absolutely fine. Tell you a little something. Not much, but it's absolutely fine. That's a lot, mate. Oh, my God. 